Congratulations. Well, now I'm gonna ask you. Apakah kalian sudah pada tahu pekerjaan orang tua kalian atau saudara-saudara kalian yang lain? Well, dalam pembelajaran kali ini, with me Miss Desi, kita akan membahas you need to listen to and tell what do your parents do? Here we will discuss about occupations and willingness or how to ask and give information about occupations or willingness. Now let's check the explanations in the next video. Let's go. Well, children, now we are going to discuss you need to listen to what do your parents do? Are you ready to start? Great. Now let's click the start button. Here you go. Children, look at the picture and what can you see? Yes, that's right. There is a woman. Is she a mom? I think so. She is carrying a baby. There is a vacuum. There is a sofa. What is she doing, children? Good job. She is cleaning the room. Now, let's see. Look at the picture. And what is she doing? Good job, she is writing. What do you think? What is her job? Yes, that's right, she is a writer. Well, children, in this lesson, we will learn about how to ask for and give information about occupations. Here, I have some vocabularies about occupations. I'm gonna play you my computer sounds. Please listen carefully to the audio and don't forget to number each picture based on the speaker saying. Are you ready to start? Here you go. Lesson 2. What do your parents do? Track 26. Word chest. Page 44. A. Listen and number. Number one, professor. He is a professor. Number two, reporter. My dad is a reporter. Number three, homemaker. She is a homemaker. Number four, baker. He is a baker. Number five, fashion designer. My mom is a fashion designer. Number six, writer. She is a writer. Okay, children, have you found the answer? Good job. Now let's see what is number one, children. Yes, professor. He is a professor. What about number two? Good job, reporter. He is a reporter. Number three is homemaker. What about number four, children? Have you found it? Good job, baker. He is a baker. And number five is excellent. Fashion designer. She is a fashion designer. And the last number is writer. She is a writer. Very good, children. Now let's continue to the next slide. Well, now let's see. What does Baker do? Good job. Baker is a person whose job is to make bread, cakes, and cookies. What about a writer? Excellent! Writer is a person whose job is to write books. Do you want to be a writer, children? Excellent! Now let's see the next picture. Who is he? That's right! He is a reporter. A reporter is a person whose job is to find out and report the news. Do you want to be a reporter someday, children? Good job! 
Look at the next picture. Who is she? Homemaker is a person who takes care of their own house and family, often a mother. And who is he? He is a professor. Professor is a teacher at a university. What about this? She is fashion designer. Fashion designer is a person whose job is to create clothes. Look at another picture. Who is she? She is a secretary. Secretary, a person who works in an office and answers phones and types documents. Who is he? Good job. He is a shopkeeper. He is a person who owns and works in a shop. And he is a scientist. Scientist is a person who does experiments and research. And the last is, look at the picture. Who is she? That's right, she is an actress. An actress is a woman who works in the movies and plays. Okay children, now you have known about occupations and their functions, right? Now let's see, before we continue to discuss about the sentence pattern, let's look and listen to the conversation. What do your parents do? My mom is a professor and my dad is a taxi driver. Well, children, based on the previous conversation, we know that when you want to ask someone about their parents' job, you can say, what do your parents do? And if you want to answer, you can answer by saying, my mom is a, or my mom is a, and my dad is a, or my dad is a. Well, this is our sentence pattern when you want to ask for and give information about occupations. Can you get it, children? Good job. Now let's have practice. Look at the picture and what do her parents do? Excellent. Her mom is a baker and her dad is a dentist. Look at another picture. What do his parents do? Yes. His mom is a secretary and his dad is a shopkeeper. Very good, children. Now, let's complete the conversations using the previous sentence pattern. We are going to complete the conversations using the picture in the right of the sentence. Well, number one. A. What? What do you think, children? Good job. What do your parents do? Look at the pictures. My dad is a hairdresser and my mom is a good job reporter. Number two. What do you say when you want to ask someone's jobs? Good job. What do your parents do? What do your parents do? My dad is a professor and my mom is a, look at the picture, is a scientist. Well, children, now let's get more practice. Here, I have a story acting in a play. I'm gonna play you my computer sounds again, listen to the audio, and try to answer the questions. Are you ready to start? Here you go. Track 29, Reading Chest, page 47. G, read and answer the questions. Acting in a play. Kyle's mom is an actress and his dad is an actor. They are usually in movies, but this summer they are in a play called Peter Pan. 
It is about a boy who never grows up. Kyle always asks to go to work with his parents. Usually, he can't go because of school, but now he goes to work with them every day. It's summer vacation. One day, during the play, one of the pirates hurt himself. He couldn't act anymore. Kyle's parents asked him to be in the play. Now, he's a pirate in Peter Pan. Wow, very nice story, right? Now, let's try to answer the questions. Don't forget to write down the answer into your book and share the answer to my WhatsApp. Okay, children, now before we end the lesson for today, let's sing a song. Track 30, Song Chest, page 49. Jay, listen and sing along. What do your parents do? Bagaimana cara menanyakan pekerjaan dalam bahasa Inggris dan bagaimana cara memberikan informasi tentang pekerjaan dalam menggunakan bahasa Inggris, right? Well, now the question is what do your parents do? Tulis di kolom komentar apa pekerjaan orang tua kalian menggunakan bahasa Inggris. Oke, okay? I think that's all for today. See you next time. That's all. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless you all. Bye-bye.